Hey, GDQ. Welcome to the first overnight uh, run block. I'll be starting off. My name is Shockwave. Uh, we'll start off with commentators. Hi. Hi, I'm Amarillyn. Uh, I'm the world record holder for Outriders, which is not this game. <laughs> and then uh, I have someone else that's not here present, but uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Church and Sarge. I also run this game. Yeah, so this, this run in particular is a little special to me. Uh, I've been submitting this game for six and a half years, and it's finally in. Uh, this is also my 10th GDQ run, so not only <laughs> it is a kind of weird special moment for me, uh, but we have like two minutes of like random stuff at the beginning, so we'll go ahead and get the timer going just so we don't have to wait. Um, this run is called Casual because the Casual is easy difficulty, and Single Segment because we'll explain that later. This run lends itself really well to being segmented. But anyway, um, the uh, timer will start in three, two, one, go. All right, so like I said, we have two minutes of stuff at the beginning. We're just going to skip these cutscenes, and then we're going to start walking towards uh, basically where we're going to get our first weapon. Uh, there's a bunch of exposition that I'll simplify as you are working in a laboratory in the future, uh, working on two different time-shifting suits. You're working on the beta suit, and the villain, Crone, is working on the alpha suit. Uh, your suit's better than his, so he decides to do the perfectly normal thing and take over the world back in the 1930s. Good? That's the story. All right. Um, you have the alpha suit? I have the beta suit, which is the better okay. one. All right. Yeah. But, I, love, uh, I love when games are like, you have the alpha version of this, but somehow it's better than everything that's released. <laughs> yeah, so this is just setting up exposition. We're just, we're just, we're, we're, we have nothing. We have no abilities. We have no guns. We're just waiting until we get to the point where we actually have something to work with. Um, a fun thing about this run is that m most levels have a skip in them. Uh, some of them are really, like, a, like, they're a huge skip. We're going to skip almost the whole level. Oh, this guy's got, oh, uh... Okay, you oh. moved. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he sits there. Um, but some of us levels have a skip of some kind. Some of them are like, we're going to skip the whole level. And some are like, okay, we'll save 30 seconds here and there. Uh, Do you just crawl under it? I wish I could. Okay. Trust oh, me. Oh, my God. Uh, so something to note is the fastest form of movement is pretty much this, uh, besides uh, jumping, which I'm not going to do, because you can see if I jump, I'm going to like stop in place for a second, and then I will slow down. Can I crouch, please? Is my crouch key oh, oh. is my crouch key not working? What is this? Is a funny this issue. This is a good and normal yeah, game. This is a that good you play. Oh yeah, it's it's wrong. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, there you go. <laughs> I prepared for this. <laughs> um, so we're in the last little like waiting section. Uh, this guy's gonna tell us to get down, but I'm gonna blatantly ignore him, stand on the dumpster, and say hi to my friends that are getting taken to jail. But don't worry about it. This is the start of RoboCop, right? Uh, yeah, we can say it's the start of RoboCop. Uh, there's way more machines there would be in the original 1930s. So, yeah, those are our friends. We'll, we'll get to them later, but we're going to wait for this ladder to come down. Unfortunately, I can't just jump and grab the ladder. I have to wait for this guy to pull it down, or the, that guy to pull it down. But anyway, so we're going to get our first weapon. Uh, the first weapon is actually probably the most useful in terms of the speed run. Uh, it's a, an assault rifle with a grenade launcher attachment on the bottom that I can shoot um, grenades in multiple ways. I can just shoot it on the ground, or I can hold the button and then delay the grenade from exploding. Why did my keybinds get deleted in between practice? Wait, didn't you restart the game? Yes, but that shouldn't delete my keybinds. What? Um... Hey, uh, hey, producer, can I call an audible for 30 seconds to fix my controls? I don't know what happened between the break and now. They're gone. This is great. I love video games. <laughs> this is time shift in a nutshell. I'm not kidding you. What happened? Shock fix your keybind, I'm man. working on it, man. Why is grenade on Q? That's... Yeah, it should be a... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. G. Where's, where's, uh, where's Helix? Hi. Dude, fix your I, I need a pause to fix my controls. <laughs> Bobby, uh, can you take it over for a little bit for I, me, please? I, I sure can. Um, <laughs> can. Can we get that this has never happened before? Anyway, uh, how, how about this? How about this $50 donation from Humphrey that says, good luck on the time shift run. I'd be shocked if it didn't go well. Tell Crone to church and save us all. If Amy one can do it, it's you three. I figured this was the perfect time to read that one. And, uh, yeah. So while we're getting some keybinds fixed up here, this is AGDQ 2024. We'll get back to time shift in just a moment.
We have a one hundred dollar donation from Anonymous with no comment. Thank you so much. We have a fifteen dollar donation from Pizza Face that says, "Lost my father to cancer, and recently my grandfather was diagnosed with cancer." I hope no one will ever have to experience that pain. AGDQ and the Prevent Cancer Foundation are such amazing organizations. Get those donations in so we can kick cancer's butt. Shout out to an amazing community and keep being awesome. Thank you so much. We have already raised over $100,000 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation and it, we haven't even been here for a full day yet. That is amazing. Thank you so much. We have a $55 donation from Inquiry that says, hydrate, take your meds, get some sleep. This is a charity marathon, not a sprint. Thank you for those wide words. But stay awake for this, because time shift is amazing. All right, so uh, I believe we have bound the keys and we're ready to shift more time. Shockwave, intro. it's all you. Hi. Oh, oh, we're back already. Uh, hi. I fixed my stuff, by the way. Um, is it paused still? Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, three, two, one, go. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So uh, I have quick save and quick load, so I can save whenever I want, and I can start whenever I want. But the grenade launcher um, has two firing modes, so I can delay it like this on the ground, and then I can let go to explode it. So I'm going to abuse that by shooting two grenades like this. I didn't get it. OK, one second. I'm going to try to do this and jump over this invisible wall that you can't see it like that. So now I'm out of bounds, and I can walk to the end of the level. Look at that. So uh, I actually did three tricks there all at once, but it was kind of hard to explain them all as they were going. Uh, I did the grenade jump, so I talked about that. Uh, the second one is if you quick save right before you touch the ground, which you can't quick save in the air, so you're going to quick save when you're close to the ground, uh, and then you load it immediately, all your fall damage is canceled. Uh, and then the third one I'm going to do is this one in a second once I get lined up with this little tube in the distance over here. So I'm going to wait for this part, and then I'm just going to do this. So I'm just going to walk in thin air out of bounds. Uh, something to note, though, I'm not walking in a straight line. I'm actually walking like this, slowly downwards. So I'm actually sort of accounting for that based on where I actually start walking out of bounds. And there's some nuance to it that we'll actually get into the next level. But I'm going to clip into this. I love how the audio just comes back. Yep. <laughs> oh, this and is so then, good. Uh, we're just going to wait here. Um, I can't do anything. I have to wait for this particular cutscene to play because uh, the end of level trigger only spawns after this like cut in-world cutscene finishes playing. So I have to be in this room when it happens. So it was good chill for a bit. I love I love this game, man. It just deleted my keybinds, and that is... I mean, you, uh, did that is a, you did restart the game, and that's a cardinal sin. It's a normal thing for something weird like this to happen. So, <laughs> whatever. That's going to be a fun story. Yeah. Th this game has some interesting quirks to it, for sure. So, I'm waiting for a prompt to show up in the bottom right. Okay, so end of level is going to happen in like 10 or 15 seconds, and then we'll move on to... Arguably the biggest trick and the one I'm going to use the most throughout the run, uh, which I've been calling recently Reversed Object Boosting, or ROB for short. I didn't see that from somewhere else, don't worry. But uh, our guns have been deleted, but now I have time abilities. So now I have the pistol. I'm going to take care of these guys, and then I'm going to get my assault rifle back. I didn't get a frag grenade again. Where Am I supposed to pick it up off this guy? All right, I don't have a grenade. I guess I'll have to get that later, but... I'm going to set this barrel up in a corner, and then I'm going to use my other time ability. Oh, I'm going to use time slow again first, but then I'm going to use my other one to do something kind of funky. So I'm going to let this land, and then I'm going to reverse time, stand on it, and jump. And now I'm stuck in the wall, and I'm going to try to inch myself in a very particular way, like that, and now I'm out of bounds. And I can skip directly to the end of the level. There we go. So the game does not agree with you being on an object in time reverse and then jumping on it. Uh, so the way to think of how this trick works in, the, in like a one sentence explanation is I have to go backwards to go forwards. So I need to find where I want to go, ha push an object the wrong way so when I'm time reversing, it's going the correct way. Bro, that, that, that was deep. <laughs> I have to go backwards Whoa, to go man. forwards. Uh, I need to spawn this guy so I can actually finish the level, and then we need to go do a turret section. So, not much going on here besides the turret section, so, Bobby, if you got, let's go like three or four donations. 
Chuck is the keybind right for this. Uh, <laughs> but, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a $50 donation from Shockwave's keybinds. <laughs> saying, you've fallen for my trick to extend the marathon. Let the donations commence. How did you get my credit card? <laughs> <laughs> we, we also have a $25 donation from Kona Rican said, I think I found some key binding over here. I'm sure nobody's going to miss them. And we do have $10, uh, $10 donation from this has never happened before with the comment of really, this has never happened before. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, that particular one has never really happened before, but I'm not surprised it happened. So, all right, turret section's over. Um, we're going to wait for this guy that I spawned in, but because I spawned him in incorrectly, he's going to do something different. He's going to dance to the right, turn around, and then do that. There you go. I need him to spawn in because he actually is the one that moves this sewer grate over here to actually open the room for me to get to the end of the level. The end of the level trigger exists in this room at all times, but I cannot get to it unless he moves this sewer grate, so... Uh, I'm going to do one tiny trick, and I'm going to let Church explain. Uh, the trick is I'm going to skip this guy's... Just hold up one second. Uh, I'm going to skip this guy's dialogue and jump over him. And then I need to go get a grenade, because I apparently didn't find one. So I'm going to go uh, get rid of these enemies. And then, uh, Church, you want to talk about triple nade jumps? Yeah, so triple nade jumping is a really cool trick that you can do. Uh, it's a little difficult to set up, but basically you are going to use both the underbell grenades combined with a frag grenade to uh, get even greater heights. You usually, in your setups, you're going to be using your time abilities to uh, set it up properly so that they're consistent, because uh, you do have the frag timer as well as your underbell timers. Uh, but you basically set it up in such a way that you're using the first grenade uh, as the extra boost to, to get you over walls. Okay, got it. Nice. All right. Nice. Second try. So, so um, no, you go ahead. I say the the problem with triple grenade jumps is you're really threading the needle on death because not only yes. are two grenades easily enough to kill you, you're having a third one be close enough just to push you. So I have the first grenade pushing me forward, the first two grenade pushing me up, and then the second one I shot pushing me further up so I can get over that invisible wall. But uh, I just skipped this entire park section over here, and then I'm just going to walk to the end. There is technically another skip you can do for this level, um, but one of the quirks of this game that we cannot figure out why it happens is that sometimes when you're walking out of bounds, you fall faster. So uh, Shock and I were talking earlier, and for some reason on this level for him, uh, he just descends so fast that he cannot make it back in bounds in time, which we've encountered before on separate levels. It, we don't understand it, but... Different yeah. levels, different conditions, different triggers to have that happen. Church had it happen while streaming the game on Discord to me. It's a weird, weird yeah, game. It, weird game. So. Weird uh, that physics game is acting weird. Yeah. So this, uh, well, let me try that again. Did I save? No, I had to walk upstairs again. Yeah, I should remember to do that. All right, so this is a level that's going to become very short just because it's very conveniently right next to the end of the level. So normally you have a lot of a lot of different fights you have to do. You have to go around just to get back where you start. But uh, the end of the level trigger is just like through the gate down there. So I'm just going to jump over this wall. I'm going to wait for my health to come back. And then I'm going to do a double grenade jump off this definitely rectangle, not actually a triangle in the background uh, objects. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. Two grenades are easily enough to kill you. Oop. So there we go. And all right, now we're through the end of the level. So I just need to kill these guys on the truck and the guys on the tank, and then the door will actually open. And conveniently enough, these grenades actually work like sticky grenades from Halo, so I can just stick a dude, and then I can run away. So like that. OK, wait, I've got to ask. When you're doing the time slow thing, it looks like you're like walking through electricity sometimes. Does it make you like rubber or something? I, if you're asking like a lore question, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't know. really know the question that I'm asking. <laughs> no, you just move faster than the electricity. Okay, so it's like Beautiful Joe. Got it. Sure, uh, I, so I, am, I, guess that, I am Beautiful Joe now. Yes, that is the answer to that question. I, so I guess we didn't, there is something that did happen that we didn't touch on. Uh, there is the time stop ability, which Shock did use to walk on one. Uh, That's which okay. Is, 
I thought necessary he was just kicking his legs. In some I thought he was just kicking his legs really fast. <laughs> now water becomes a solid object in time slow, and uh, actually I'm gonna try to skip these guys. Okay, cool, that works. And then, oh, please let me through. Thank you. And we're just gonna. It's, this level's unfortunately just like I'm just doing a bunch of small skips. I'm not doing anything big. So like I jumped off the forklift to skip a puzzle. I jumped over the wall so I didn't have to walk around. And then just over to other small things. Also, sorry, bye. Poor guy. Yeah, he was just fixing something. It's probably just a just a mechanic. He had a rifle next to him, so. Uh, but now I'm gonna pick up the shotgun that I skipped earlier by uh, skipping the second level. But now we have a shotgun, and that the shotgun I will keep until the end of the run. So that seesaw becomes stationary now that I use time stop. And then I'm going to solve these puzzles with time stop while I'm just waiting for these things to sit flat. Uh, I just need to wait for my ability to recharge. And cool. Oh, is that going to be enough? OK, cool. Um, but the rest of this level is just going to be basically walking to the end. So if we want to throw through some more donations, uh, feel free to take it over for let's I, say like a minute. I, okay. I do want to add one real nope. quick thing because like I I'm so I'm here as as the idiot for the run because I've not <laughs> played this game. Shock told me before the run you're gonna be the idiot. And I, said, I didn't okay, use those got words. It. You got I, it, man. I did not use um, those words. Let I, that be on the record. I do think it's really cool that like this game does physics puzzles, but in a way that like I've actually never seen before in games. Just like. You know, the, the physics would be to, you know, maybe reverse time there, so you go backwards through it. No, you just stop it and walk through it. I think that's really cool. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, uh, like up 30 seconds for donations, if you want. All right, we have a $10 donation from Kai that says, don't take the tech issues to heart shockwave. I can't even run this game on my computer. <laughs> True. I can mention that later. Yep. yep. Anyway. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Moose Herd number one shockwave fan club with no comment. I know who that is, and thank you. I will talk to you when I get home. <laughs> and uh, we have a $10 donation from Gabriel Sotobello saying, supporting cancer prevention all the way from Brazil. Obrigado, GDQ. Alrighty. Um, so I didn't mention it. I didn't have time because we were reading donations, which are more important. But uh, I skipped a cutscene, which sometimes has a trigger, sometimes doesn't. And sometimes the trigger is like a quarter of a second big to hit, and if you miss it, then you can't skip it. It's great. Uh, I love cutscenes in between levels. Anyway, so I'm going to set up uh, a fun trick that also Church doesn't do, but I do, uh, because we just have different routes. Whoa. Um, Hater method. So I'm going to use... I'm going to blow up this barrel here. Don't like that. Um, I'm going to try to blow up this barrel in a way that I can use time reverse to ride it up to the second floor. So this might work. Oh, no, it kicked me off. OK. But I'm going to try to ride this to the second floor so I can skip having to walk around. This will probably not work, but I'm going to try it. Oh, it did. OK. Uh, we'll see if this actually works. But uh, So I skipped all of the down, uh, the downstairs combat. And oh, he finally spawned. Cool. And I'm trying to make sure that this happens in a way that I don't soft lock the room. If this door doesn't turn green, then I soft locked it and I have to redo it, which I did. So I have to do it again. OK, that's fine. It's an easy fix, luckily, but I have to do it in a certain way at a certain speed. So that way, this guy comes out of the door for me to open it. That is like 40% of the reason why I don't like this trick and I do the other route, which is infinitely harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder, but once you do the trick, then you're pretty much home free and you're not preying on uh, random explosions yeah. to work in your favor. Um, this trick does, ooh, this might work. Um, this trick does have, I, I do have a backup save for this just in case I don't get it, but I'm going to try to do it all without, I hope I quick, I quick save. I did. Okay. Oh, the barrel's on fire and that's what killed me. I didn't see it. Oh, and then, Shark, you're going to have to remind me when to count to two minutes. Oh, yeah, that's for like later in the. Um, okay, cool. Later in the run. All right, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting for my health to get low so I can just heal. Why are you not dead, buddy? <laughs> okay, if this door turned green, so that means this guy's going to come out, which means I can actually progress to the next level. So, soft lock is fixed. It's just kind of a trial and error kind of skip, but uh, I've got full time energy, so I can now just kind of brute force to the end of this level. And uh, normally I would just kind of like talk my way through this, but let's be real, I'm just going to walk in an elevator and wait till the end of the level. So if we got more donations for, let's say, a minute. All right, we have a $10 donation from Longbow that says, press key unbound to pay respects. 
Uh, we have a $10 donation from your crouch button that just says, I'm so sorry. Uh, ooh, we have a $10 donation from the Hamburglar saying, he will never know I'm in the crowd eating his keybinds when he's not looking. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Emily that says, Shout out to Foxshot, my loving girlfriend who told me about Time Shift being run. The game deserves more love, especially with all its weirdness. Unlucky about the keybinds getting time shifted, though. And okay, we have a $25 done. donation from Strider uh, that just asked, Would it really be a Shockwave run if Shock and Amy didn't show us their best dab? Uh, you got to pay more for that, buddy. Oh, more more than just the 25. Sorry, Strider. I tried. Uh, I'm always saying that because he's my friend. He's working backstage right now, so. He's right over there. Yeah, he's right over there. All right, and anyway, so this, this level's skips are just to jump over the wall with grenades. Uh, I have lower health than I want, and also way less time ability energy than I want, so I'm not really happy about this. But actually, this might work, so I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're cool. We're good. All right, that's skipped. All of that was just skipping, walking around. I just instead walked in a straight line. That's all I did there. Uh, the last thing is there's this fight on the roof. I have to hit a button and then just kill most of the enemies on this. So uh, let's do one more donation. Okay, this is actually a cool one. We have a $10 donation from Brandon R 75 I was a QA tester on Time Shift 2007. No way. Had that's a tight. great time. No. Many years later, I'm a concept artist in games. This game was the catalyst for me going to school and chasing my dreams. Thank you so much, Brandon. No, thanks for the donation. Yeah, it's awesome. incredible to meet someone who actually worked on this, because this is, uh, with all of the people I t tell about this game, no one knows it. So it's cool to actually hear from someone who actually worked on the game. All right, so I hit the button. Uh, I'm going to wait for, oh, no, you don't. I heard that. Uh, I just need to wait till objective complete happens. All right, cool. All right, so this is an auto-scroller for two minutes. So I'm just going to hang with my friend uh, Taylor here. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. So <laughs> I have nothing to do for two minutes. So I'm just going to hang out. So Bobby, if you want some uh, donations, go for it. This is actually good. My hand was getting really cold, and your back is really warm. So. Aww. <laughs> uh, how about this? We have a $100 donation from Emily, a different Emily, saying, shout out to my beloved significant other, Audrey who is so patient with me and is so passionate about GDQ. I love her so much and am more than happy to make my first donation to this year's AGDQ in her honor. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. Thank you, Audrey, for being patient. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we have a $15 donation from Mooseherd number two that says, we totally meant to leave a comment. We found the keybinds at the airport. We're returning them now. <laughs> Dude, I'm never letting you live that down. Uh, please don't. How did you Thanos snap your keybinds? <laughs> please don't. Uh, okay, and, and this, that was a good one. This is a good serious one. Uh, we got twelve hundred dollars from Ilya that said it was there, early we'll 2020 when my grandmother passed due to pancreatic cancer. Thank you all for donating to this great cause, and let's prevent cancer. Thank you so much for that generous donation. Thank you very much for the uh, the. Yeah. Thank you. The large donation. So this auto scroller is, uh, I can only lose time on this. I can't make it go faster. Uh, the only way I can lose time is by using my time abilities, which I will do for marathon safety because there is a chance that I could just get sniped um, because I'm not invincible in the turret. I can't actually get killed out of this. Uh, but also there's just the section section has planes, which can really mess with you. So I will just do marathon safety stuff. Uh, but for the most part, this is just a turret section, and it has the classic, if you shoot it too much, your turret overheats. And that's really, that's all that's notable. So back to you, Bobby. All right, we have a <laughs> sorry, one, Oh, go, go oh, for sorry, it, Oh, sorry, go for it, Church. I, one thing I wanted to point out uh, that we didn't get to touch on because you were uh, reading uh, donations. If you were watching, Shock's character was turning right the entire time, <laughs> despite the fact that Shock was not at the keyboard. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry. That's all. Go ahead. <laughs> Back to you, Bobby. Oh, no, it's, it's awesome. Uh, we have a $10 donation from Martin Scores EZ that says, if the keybinds got changed, does that mean there was a shift shift? <laughs> Sh shift got shifted. <laughs> I lost control of control. Alt. The space has really got to me there. Oh, uh, no, I'm out of tabs at this point. <laughs> We do also have a $50 donation from Naomi that says, thanks to the runners and crew for all that you do. Thank you so much. 
Got time for one more? Uh, I've got time for like 20 more at this point. Okay. So it, this is the, I got another two minutes of auto scroller here. You can start using time slow abilities. We could really make this marathon go over estimate. Time slow, I could stop it. I could just time stop and then even more time. Anyway, donations. We have a $250 donation from Killer Payback that says thank you to the GDQ crew for keeping this event running. And we have a $50 donation from Jake. It has an exclamation point at the end. That's why I had to oh, yell it yeah. there. Yeah, it makes sense. Just started watching after a long day. Looking forward to watching all week long. Thank you so much, Jake, with the exclamation point. Uh, those got closer than I wanted to. All right. Shot so we're camp. halfway through this section, by the way. So we still have more well, to go. Well, how about this? Here's a question for you in the form of a donation. OK. We have a $10 donation from Amy that says, hi, Shockwave, loving the run. Can you tell me what makes this game close to your heart? Uh, sure. Uh, so back when I was a kid, um, this came out when I was in middle school. Uh, I didn't have an Xbox at the time. And I just it was I was on a Halo kick um, when I used to go to, uh, to like friend, my dad's friend's houses or aunt and uncle's houses. So I really, it happened. Oh my God, it happened. I got killed no. out of the turret. Oh my God. <coughs> no. I just lost two minutes. <laughs> Let's go. No. <laughs> oh my God, it happened. I saw you getting Time. shot. I was like, should I mention that? I normally spam quick save. I just forgot because we were having so much fun. That's not a joke. I'm sorry. Anyway. You yeah, um, like he likes this game well. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I, I just kind of like, I got attached to it as a kid and I was like, I really want to play this game. And then when I got older, I got an Xbox. I played it a little bit, but then I sold it to GameStop because everyone did that when they were kids. Uh, but then in 2016, I saw it was on the Steam Summer Sale. And then I bought it, learned the speedrun instead of doing the casual playthrough. And I was like, this is fun. And then I kept submitting it to GDQ for basically seven years. That's, that's why it's close. So there you go. There's, there's the lore for uh, why I like this game. Well, we have a $25 donation from Katie Kit that says, this game looks legitimately cool. I'm glad I stayed up for it. Thank you for showing it off, Shockwave. Hey, thanks for staying up for it. Chuck, because you just beefed it big style, I'm going to remind you to quick save. I'm going to quick save the moment this little mini cutscene happens, because I forget that you don't get a checkpoint at an obvious checkpoint in this level. All right, there you go. At least quick save so we won't lose that much time. All right, great. Uh, gosh, that's just so funny. That is... So that's not normally a me problem. That's a church problem. Church has this happen all the time. I never have that happen. <laughs> And I shouldn't have thought about that because thinking about it caused it to happen because Murphy's Law or something. It, yeah, it literally happens to me like once every three runs or something. Uh, all right, anyway, um, so like I said, we're not even halfway again, so uh, let's do like, some more donations. Absolutely. How about we have a $50 donation from Akira Katayama saying, Scissor Man, Time Shift, and Goemon, it's a good night to stay up late. Eager to see more crazy skips and some proper typing etiquette as well because we have Typing in the Dead coming up next. I also want to talk real quick, just we have an incentive open. When you donate, please select one of the incentives. The one we have is for Cassette Beasts. A little bit later on today, recruiting Barkley the dog. We have raised almost $1,200 out of the $3,000, and we were 39% of the way there. Uh, so Corvime can make friends with Barkley the dog, do the bonus mission, take him down to the final boss for the Cassette Beast run. So let's donate. Select the incentive after you put in the amount when you make your donation. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, Cassette Beast is going to be tight. If you like Pokemon, it's really, really similar to that. Like, it's... I... I'm doing a really bad job of explaining it because Corvume is way more passionate about it than I am, but like I've seen the run a few times. Corvume loves the run because that piece is great. She's rerouted it like 20 times or something. Yeah. And highly, it's, a, highly and it's about a dog. Yeah. It's an incentive for a dog. I That's mean, right. come on. Strider's really trying, by the way. Another $25 <laughs> from Strider that just says, do the thing. Okay. I'll, I'll do the thing with one arm. You got to pay for the other arm. No, no, no. We. we he did two, man. We gotta give him both. Okay. Uh, let me at least get through all the planes, and then we'll do it. Okay. Yeah, don't. The don't planes can still kill me, and then once I start getting dialogue, we'll, we're pretty close to free. You know what? I'll just. We already lost more time. We'll, whatever. We'll just lose more at this point. Is there any more planes? There's like three more. Uh, take oh, you out. Language, man. Where? What is that red dot? Oh. Just get you out of here, and then there's one more ahead of me. Where is he? There he is. 
All right, look to the right, point to the left. Point that way? Point that way. Okay. Sorry. All right, three, two, one, boom. There you go. Just slam your arm directly into that microphone. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> sorry, audio tech. My Good bad. morning, everybody. <laughs> Shout out to everybody watching the uh, watching GDQ to fall asleep. Oh. And so I'm gonna like, I'm just gonna quick save again just for sanity, even though we're 10 seconds from the end. All right, cool. We're done with the auto scroller. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, time for so going from one of the longest levels for this run apparently to now probably one of the shortest. Um, the exit is there. Um, I just need to get there. So I'm gonna quick save right here, and then I'm gonna blow up this guy's ATV. I'm going to let this wheel come at me in a... Okay, I'm going to try again. I need this wheel to explode in a certain way so I can actually get some height on it. Like this. This will work. Just kidding. You know it won't because the rest of the ATV was in the way. This is part of the uh, randomness of the ATV. Really? Come on. All right, I'm going to use... I'm going to start taking a look at all the tires. Uh, we're going to try this thing. Yeah, we're going to try this thing. This might work. Oh, no. Okay. Give me a sec. Normally this uh, takes me like two tries because the wheel cooperates. Okay, this will work. This theoretically should work. Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. Nice. All right, nice. Uh, as long as I land safely. You should be fine, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm in the right spot. Okay, so now I'm going to look at this thing in the distance to the left, just like there-ish. It's not precise. And then give me five seconds. Like, count it, or...? There it is. It's right there. Okay. All right. I was actually a little off. But anyway, here's the end of the level. It's just right behind us. So... Conveniently, there's just something just to, like, fly to the end of the level. It's great. Uh, we also now have an ATV. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. Those arm textures. <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm just going to get these guys out just so they're not annoying, because they can be annoying during the trick. But now I'm going to grab probably the best weapon in the game, uh, the crossbow. Uh, the crossbow is so good because it basically one-shots every enemy, at least on this difficulty. It one-shots most enemies. How do I have such low health? But I'll be fine. All right, there I'm just going to heal. So uh, a thing of time stop is when you're below, we'll say 20%, 20 25% health. If you use time stop, you heal. So it's a way to control your health. But anyway, so now I have the best weapon in the game, uh, and then we're going to do another object boost here in this corner. Just going to set up, do a quick save, and then I'm going to use this barrel. That should be fine. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. I lied. Sorry about that. All right, there you go. That's enough height. So I'm going to shoot it between these two trees about there, let it land, and then I'm going to try to get on it. Uh, that'll work, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. All right. And then fun thing about fall damage is this shouldn't kill me. There you go. Easy. Uh, fall damage works by taking your starting point and your ending point, taking the difference, and if the ending point is higher than where you started, no fall damage. So you could go all the way to the universe's like, ceiling and then fall, but as long as you land like even just like a pixel higher, you won't take fall damage. It's great. Why did I shoot? I just clicked my mouse, whatever. I was very confused. I put my hand back on the mouse and just hit the button on accident. It's fine. Anyway, uh, this is a puzzle. Stop time. Walk away. Cool guys on Ludic Explosions. How to date myself in five seconds. And that's the end of the level. Jump over the ravine and then... Uh, this also has a weird timing. I'm going to wait for the blue line to intersect the pink line on top like that. So right like there, and I can skip that cutscene. I genuinely thought you zoomed in on that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so now you get to see why the crossbow is the best weapon in the game, because there's just a bunch of dudes standing in front of my way here. But now I'm going to time slow, zoom in, and just take them out one by one without really much effort. There you go. That's why the crossbow is so good. I love the... Whoever did the voice work for the death sounds on these guys is great. Oh, my health. Come on, just, just hit me a little bit more so I can heal. Just a little bit more. There we go. In some points, it's better just to take the hits and then heal so you can just keep moving forward versus trying to manage health. Just, just let it fall down and then go back up. Uh, this is supposed to be an enemy. This is supposed to be a challenge, but it's not. There you go. It's supposed to have like time powers similar to us, but again, you can you can just stop time and then kill them. 
But anyway, we're going to go here and then introduce the fun thing of ammo boxes, because I will actually use them. So they have these things called uh, ammo boxes in like random places that if you just stand on them, you just get ammo for free. Unlimited ammo. You can just fully stand. Oh, hi, what's up? Um, you can just stand on them, get full ammo, and then you can just keep moving forward. It's great. So you don't have to really worry about ammo in the run because you'll just have set points that you can fully fill up on your mag. Um, the way you solve this puzzle is not using time abilities. It's just go around this corner. And there you go. You're done. Oh, I got stuck. That's not good. That, yeah, that's stuck, you. Yeah. I'm fine. I believe. See? No problem. Uh, let's do one donation real quick. We have a $15 donation from Mocha Jake that says, this time shift run is the best kind of 2 a.m. chaotic energy, and I am <laughs> so here for it that I needed to donate. Also, Shock, uh, reminder to quick save. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Game save. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Love that it stacks. Uh, it only stacks once, actually. There is a preventative measure from, like, multiple save files being created there. I don't... It's weird that it's only on the left and also not on the right. Anyway. I'm invisibly uh, door. Yeah, we're going to skip going over this wall. I'm going to heal first. And then we're going to skip saving our friends, which is the whole reason we're here. Instead, I'm just going to go in this room, jump. Oh, hold up. Let me try that again. Uh, I'm going to go into this room and then die. <clears throat> just kidding. Try again. This shotgunner is the end of me. All right, we're going to walk out of this wall here if I can actually get out of it correctly. Uh, did I not do it right? I might have to try this again. What are you doing in Amnesia the Bunker? <laughs> Good reference. All right, we're going to try this again. Um, this vent here doesn't exist, so I can just walk through it like that. There we go. That's what I wanted. All righty. So now I'm out of bounds, and I can just walk to the end of the level. So you're supposed to go like save your troops, but luckily you can just kind of walk out of bounds. And I'm using these random textures that are still loaded as a reference. When I get close to the terrain, it'll pop back in. But for now, I need to use these as key points of where to walk. All right, cool. I'm going to walk around this thing, walking in the void. We're all good. And then I seem to walk towards oh. this fight. And by the way, there's our friends. They're free. I did it. Yay. Ooh. I don't think we really talked about it. You do walk slightly faster when you're in time slow. It's such a small amount, but yes, you technically do. All right, so I'm going to prep this ATV to be exploded. Um, there's a cutscene that will play every time you restart the level here. Uh, I'm going to let it play once, and I'm going to quick save after it so it doesn't uh, play again if I fail this trick. Um, this is our girlfriend that died in the explosion, by the way. I know, I know I explained that earlier, but yes, we had a girlfriend that died in the explosion. Uh, so I'm going to quick save again, and then blow up this ATV. Uh, this might work. Oh, beautiful. Please, please, please. Uh, oh, you, you might get woo! the best. I'm happy you about that it. one. I landed right in the exit trigger. All right. That was a weird pop-off. I'm sorry, uh, but that was that was good. The level level end trigger extends super hard, super hi, far high, super high in the uh, in the air there, so you can just clip into it uh, even if you're just over the trigger, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's several areas that you can land on in that level that'll work fine, and you can then you can just walk to it. But it's really satisfying to just hit the level trigger off a launch like that. Uh, that is also part of the segmented run, where you just spawn in, blow it up, and then launch directly into it. Oh, hello. What do you have? Oh, a, a tube launcher. launcher a man. tube launcher. I didn't realize he had one. Actually, wait. I would prefer to have his grenades, actually, just in case. Yeah, so that, that's another level that's like you just spawn in and then just go to the end, because you just have an object you can just fling off of. But, uh, oh, okay, I will walk back around. Hey, Shock, reminder to quick save. Thanks, me in the past. Or donator. Yeah, we'll go with the donator. Where do I get back up? Oh, my God. Yep. Shock, reminder to quick save. I can't believe for all the times you've run this game, you haven't made the quality choice for commentary to pause talking whenever you're in time stop. That would... <laughs> so you're saying now I need to learn how to talk in reverse if I do time reverse? Yeah, I mean, that would be funny, too. Okay, but like, yeah. When time is stopped, you just... Where was the donator that told me to quick save? Please give them a raise. <laughs> it's incredible that's the thing that's tripping me up right now, is forgetting to quick save more than anything else. Uh, did I get two? I did get two. All right. Quick save. Good. Appreciate the enthusiasm. You're welcome. 
I can't see chat, but I'm assuming chat's also telling me to quick save, so Dude, thanks, chat. to fall again. <laughs> it saves like three seconds. Uh, anyway, this is a puzzle where you just hold time slow, and then you just walk forward. Uh, but I'm just going to skip over this cutscene. You can see right over there, there's our friends waiting for us. Uh, I'm just going to jump over the fence to skip a cutscene, and then I'm going to walk towards the final area just where I'm going to do a skip. Um, let's get like 30 seconds to a minute of donations. All right, we have a $50 donation from Jules, 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 Jules. Saying, hi, Shockwave. Love the run as a big fan of Time Shift. So excited to watch GDQ with my puppies, Sammy and Luna, and my kitty, Elena. Excited to stay up late to watch Time Shift. Donation goes towards Mega Man 3 Buster Only. That is one of the other incentives we have open. Switching to Buster Only in Mega Man 3, we need, we've got about 16% of the way there for the $8,000. We also have a manifold garden. Uh, incentive for bonus any percent the secret ending run we are actually 72 percent towards that one and then uh, a couple of uh, incentives for 30 xx I don't know if it's 30 xdx or xx uh, but enabling the entropy conditions uh, we need to get about three thousand dollars for that and then petting the Robo cat because I'm a cat person so I want to pet the cat but this one's a robot uh, we need to get five thousand dollars for that. So thank you for your donations. Be sure you can select the incentive when you put in the donation, and you can select multiple incentives. You can split up your donation. Okay, that'll work. All right, so normally when you time reverse and stand on something, it'll kick you off, but for some reason this barrel uh, has a lot of super glue on it, so I'm stuck on it, and then I can fall off of it like that. Um, so here's a pro tip in this game. What's faster than a ladder? That's right, breaking your ankles. <laughs> I love the glass shattering sound effect, just falling. It's, there's just something satisfying about it. It's just, you just fall, trip, break your ankles, and then move on. Hey, stay down, buddy. No, stay down. Thank you. Uh, here's a cool animation that we will see maybe one more time. Whoa. Thanks, buddy. Shout out to whoever made that on the dev team. That was cool. Yeah, the, the QA tester from earlier that donated. Yeah, he made that. Uh, shout outs to the this team member that made that. Uh, I can't skip this one, or we'll just rephrase it. I don't know where to skip this one. This probably has a really tiny trigger where to skip, and I haven't found it yet. So, so just got to wait for this one. Cool, thanks. All right, we'll move on. Uh, so this level has some actually some, some pretty difficult grenade jumps at towards the end, uh, but it has a fun little segment I like to call, hey chat, get involved with chair emotes. Uh, there's a chair that I use because the segmented run used it, and I watched the segmented run to learn this game. Don't recommend doing that, by the way. Pro tip. Uh, there's a chair that I can use to do a couple reverse object boosts to just skip walking in a circle, basically. Um, but I'm going to use the same chair twice just in the next level as well. So chat, if you have any chair-related emotes, or use the chair emoji, or use the Twitch global emote, flip this, uh, capital F, capital T, all one word, uh, you can have fun for the next 30 seconds. After that, uh, recess is closed. And can then I we're start, like, sitting in the chair weird? Sure. Every time I shoot it, please change your position in the chair. Okay. All right, so this chair's going to come with us. Come on, chair. Kid, please? Bullets? Okay, go. Shoot. Did he go. shoot again? Someone tell me. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to set up this chair yeah. here. God. For a reverse, that needs to go higher. I need to set this up for a reverse object boost. That should work. Oops. What? You just kicked me. What did you do? Definitely didn't just <laughs> kick something off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> you have, okay, a, you have a shift in an hour. Please don't break the stage before you need to use it. No, I, I fixed it. It's, it's cool. It's fine. All right, so we're going to get on this chair and then shoot to the other side of the room. That is so far. Okay, that still works, though. Anyway, thanks, chair. That's the first time we use it. We'll get to the second one later. So, uh, like I said... Fun's over, chairs go away. But now we're to the actual hard trick, which is the double grenade jump off the balcony into a save load fall cancel. I know that just made it sound technical, it's I'm gonna blow myself up over a pipe, basically. That's the short version. I love the way speedrunners name tricks. <laughs> it's either like super technical in like listing everything you do, or it's like Jeremy Skip. All right, I'm going to wait for full health here just to make sure. All right, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to do a double grenade jump like this, please. I think I got it. I did get it. Sick. It. All right, that's Big actually boost. pretty hard. 
and then uh, time slow through this, and then I'm going to wait for this. So this is a scripted reverse sequence, and the QA tester can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but this is how I think this works. Um, time reverse normally uses a lot of energy, but when you get to a scripted sequence, it reduces the amount of energy, but it doesn't reduce it at a flat rate. It like increases the reduction over time to be like less and less energy, so I, that's why I wait a few seconds to make sure I have the most amount of energy possible. That's how I think it works, but I'm sure I will get corrected on how it actually works, which would be actually cool to know. Someone's going to um actually you in the comments. That uh, was a fun show to watch at your house yeah. for New Year's. Yeah. That in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this level is a maze. It's supposed to be a maze, because you're supposed to like go on catwalks, go on the floor, go back on catwalks, and a bunch of ladders. And it's supposed to be confusing, but we're just, we have grenades. And I'm just going to go in a straight line, basically, to where I need to go. So over that wall, and then to the next place I need to go. Chuck, you know what I think about that? What do you think about that? That's amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you're very supportive of me. Yeah, Bobby's nodding. He knows what's up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to fill up an ammo, and then I'm going to abuse time stop here. I'm going to purposely... Shock, reminder to quick save. Thanks, me. I, man. Dude, we're like, wait, we have a $15 <laughs> donation from no, Fox Quick no, Save key don't. that says, hit me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Why, is, dogging him over why is this the thing I'm forgetting and not like any other I, trick? It's incredible. Anyway. I I do not understand. I think I quick saved like ten thousand times a run. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna damage myself enough to have time stop heal me, and then I'm gonna abuse that whole thing to do a bunch of grenades and explosive jumps to just get up here. I didn't mean to shoot that second grenade, but it's fine. It'll still work out. Anyway, chat, it's time for the second chair. Oh god. I gotta find new ways to sit. Alright, this chair. Same chair, different spot. It's going to come with me for one final time. Get in the door, please. Come on. Come, come on. Help me out. No, no, in. No, don't still L. In, in, in the door. Okay, that's in the door. Thank you. What are you doing? You told me to sit differently. <laughs> uh, the people is, behind me, they're just laughing at me. This is real 2 a.m. energy, and I'm, I'm all for it. Anyway, uh, so chair's going to come out here under this balcony, and then we're going to do a reverse object boost off of it. So save there. I forgot how to That might it. work. I'm going to try it. Nah, I didn't. OK, that was bold. I thought I canceled time reverse. Let's try that again. OK, that worked. So I want to get up here. Um, that might have been too good, actually. Oh, are you? I oh, okay, yeah. I, I, oh, had, I had it, and then I got myself out of it. It's fine. I can still do it again. Oh, I'm bad. Wow. Let's try that again. This this trick is all is all feeling. There's not really a way you can set up a consistent lineup because even if you literally just quick save and then quick load the same setup, you will get different results. Why? Okay, that just didn't boost me. That can happen. You can just be on the object in time reverse, jumping on it, and it won't do anything. It's just. The, the game doesn't agree doesn't mean it won't sometimes agree. I love okay, that works. Um, like so we're going to play, we're gonna play a little bit of Counter-Strike and surf on this railing here. All right, that joke didn't land. Let's move to the next one. All right. Uh, remember, what's faster than ladders? Anyone? Breaking, Breaking your, your ankles. ankles. Thank you. So let's just do that. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, the death sound kills me every time. <laughs> I love the death sound. But anyway, that's the, uh, the maze done in a straight line. Uh, there is a fun trick you can do if you have enough ammo, which I don't. Um, you can actually go through here, and you can just go out of bounds right there and just skip the whole level. But I unfortunately do not have even close to enough ammo to do it, because I would need enough ammo to do that trick, and then the trick in the next level, which I've been hitting consistently, surprisingly, but we'll, uh, we'll see how many tries it takes on stage. Uh, that fire's going to burn me. All right, cool. We're good. Uh, normally, you have to go through the whole like assembly line puzzle, but we could just... That guy can just have a bad day at work, and um... sorry, buddy. Oh, don't fall. I All mean, right, cool. We're clear. Chuck, you, you told us earlier what's faster than ladders. Breaking your ankles. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a kill plane there, oh. hilariously <laughs> okay. enough, that I cannot break my ankles. It is like the only place that we cannot do that. So uh, I'm going to skip every other puzzle and then just uh, break my ankles. <laughs> I love that sound. 
You just do this cool jump, like, off a balcony, and you get some major distance, then just... Duh! All right, I'm going to hit this button, and then we're going to move to the next puzzle. So I actually did the other puzzle early. Um, normally, you're not supposed to know that it's there, but there's an explosive barrel puzzle here that someone's going to come out and shoot and blow everything up, and then everything's just going to be on fire. So you have to navigate this barrel walkway while it's on fire, or you wait for it to be put out. Since I shot it early, it's now put out already. And I can just walk to the end of this. Alrighty, and now time for Sabotage. This is a triple grenade jump in a confined vent. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm threading the needle with death with triple grenade jumps, but I'm doing it in a confined space. So yeah, there's nothing that can go wrong there. Uh, I don't have my weapon, so I'm going to inch my way out like this to get my guns, and then I'm going back in the vent. Right, is then, this where I start the timer? Uh, no, that's the next level. But uh, I'm going to time stop and then do a triple grenade jump like this. First try, let's go. That is... Oh my God. That is way, 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 way harder than I made that look. Please I guess remember it. to quick save. That, so, the, the, like, th that is so hard to do. Because you're in, cl in an enclosed space, the grenades are way more that's, likely to kill you. That's fine. I think I saved at the top of the pipe. You did. Yeah, I did right here. You did. All right, so I had to cut my angle wrong. So there's a, a lot of areas that you can walk that are wrong, and I'm trying to jiggle the vent so I don't lose height. But I'm just trying to find the right line and then just walk towards it. Which, is, if that's the part of sabotage I'm going to fail, cool. I will take that any day. There we go. This is where I wanted. So the end of the level is just right here. If I can... Please don't do this. What? I cool. think you can get out. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I should have quick saved. Where are you? Wiggling a little bit. Does... Repeat the phrase, shock, you should quick save. This is this is a great, great oh, unintentional bit. It's, I, it's fine. It's luckily once you're out of the vent, it's not hard to retry this. What did I possibly get stuck in? Again, this is this is a weird, this is a weird run. Weird. Oh, I think you're. Stuck Am I too far in to the, the right? Maybe. Basement. I think I'm too yeah, far to the right. Yeah, I'm going too far to the right. Yeah. It's, okay, we'll go a little more to the left. Okay, I'm gonna quick save there because I can fix this. All right, cool. There you go. I wanted to stay behind this invisible metal grate, but I want to go in front of this one. So then I can go over the fence like this and then go to the hardest reverse object boost in the run, um, which is Exeunt, the, this, the level name. Um, the reason it's so hard is because most reverse object booster robs have an angle like you, like you have an error margin of this. With Exeunt, it's that. It is so tiny like of a margin you have to hit. I have to go perfectly vertical and nothing else. I cannot go to the left or to the right. I need to go exactly straight up. And that's what makes it so hard. So this is the one that uh, for give me three minutes to try because I do not know if I will actually hit this just because I don't know if the game will let me hit it. Because I will try my best to get this barrel perfectly straight up, but just because of how the object is spinning, it might kick me. No way. Give me a second. Oh don't clap yet. I don't know if this will work. I go. Well, I'm in the ceiling. You should be. F I think you can. Save. No. Uh, too far. Uh, way too far. Okay, yeah. That's why I said don't clap because yeah. it was it was a it was the launch I wanted, but just a little too far backwards. I think. Yeah, I think because you got stuck, it was not acceptable. I've got an eye on the timer, by the way. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And these barrel, this barrel in particular loves to spin. So there's not really much I can do about it. Uh, I, can make the, I can make this one work? Yeah, I can make that one work. Let's try this. No, just kidding, I can't make that work. Uh -huh. um, actually, you know what, Bobby? Give me a minute of donations, because I might just keep trying this. All right, we have a $50 donation from Ducal that says, Hi, Shockwave, glad you remembered to quick save. Hi, Shockwave, glad you remembered to quick save. <laughs> quick save to remember your... Uh, we also, we do have somebody that's, that's not, uh, that's actually on your side. We have a $25 donation from Kay that says, Shockwave CS Go joke was funny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, this works. I got it. All right, cool. And great job yeah. on the run so far. Actually, oh, yeah, you can, you can clap now. Okay. This, this will work 100%. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm not worried about any other tricks, so this should work. Oh, wait, hold up. I did not mean to give you a panic attack. I almost <laughs> missed that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you say no, thank God. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> we're, we're fine. We're fine. But anyway, so yeah, this is the end of the level. It's on the other side of this door. Why did I just point like the door is over there? It's not. That's other people. Anyway, so yeah, I need to do this. Normally, you have to time slow so that way the helicopter doesn't lift all the way. But luckily, I can just let it lift all the way so that way the trigger's there and then just jump into it like that. Anyway. That's, that's the hardest trick in the run, I would say, because it's very easy to kill any marathon setting run because you just can't go perfectly straight up. So, cool. Thank you. If, if you want to know how long that took you, that actually only took like a minute and a half. Woo! So, I'll take it. Good. I'll take it. Um, we got about a minute or so of just kind of like waiting around for stuff before I'm going to do a trick. So if you want to do some donations, go for it. All right. Uh, we have a $5 donation from My Hero Zero that says, I don't think OSHA would approve this advice about ladders. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's OSHA certified, trust me. Um, and uh, we have a $10 donation from 2AM Energy that says, you can sit as many ways as you want, but time will continue to shift. We also have a $25 donation from Sivadra that says the chairs are the most important part, important part of this time shift speed run. Praise the chairs. Praise chair. And, and we do have a, another donation. We have a $10 donation from, from Amerlin that says, hi from two feet behind you, another $25 if I can whap you with a pillow. Go for it. No, no, no you got to keep going. Oh, I got to keep going. Yeah, distraction. Okay. yeah, that's fine. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, that was a good one. That was actually pretty comfy, actually. Yeah. All right, I can actually make this barrel work pretty fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try this. Uh, you that is save, like, that's pretty good. On this level, right? Yeah. All right. So the ending to this level is there's a vent. You can't. It's not rendered yet, but there's a vent like it's right here. Uh, yeah, vent jokes. Whatever. Uh, and I'm just going to land on this roof. Uh, so I didn't get to mention because it hasn't been a problem yet. Um, walking out of bounds is fine. Uh, flying out of bounds like this is a problem. You can think of it like every object has this giant force field shooting up above it that will catch me. And then I can, I can slowly inch my way out of that force field. That's kind of the simple way of putting it. Uh, there's, like, like I said, walking out of bounds is fine. Flying out of bounds uh, is not fine. Uh, do I have a grenade? No, I need to get one. Okay. So there's luckily um, a dude with a grenade launcher right here. So I'm going to grab his grenade and then I'm just going to finish this level in like 30 seconds. So I'm going to wait for this to move. Grenade jump over this and then I'm going to wait in this corner right here. Quick save. I remembered. Thank you. And then I'm going to wait for my time. I'm going to wait for my time ability, ability, ability energy to come back. Um, I believe I'm hitting this trigger from the wrong side, so if I just do time slow, I can just watch the end of the level. I believe this is not intentional. It feels like it shouldn't be intentional because I'm on the wrong side. But anyway, so that's the end of the level. Pretty quick and easy. Woo! Just one, one grenade jump and you can finish this level wicked fast. To, to explain that just a little bit better, the door opens for those enemies and then closes behind them, which is why that is probably intentional, <laughs> or unintentional, it's, rather. Yeah. So this is another scripted reverse sequence. Um, so if I were to go right away, I wouldn't have enough ability energy, so I'm going to wait a few seconds. Do, 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 and then I'm going to go. So you can see how slow it's draining right now. Uh, yeah, this will be enough. All right, cool. And then that is really the only hard part of this level, and then it's two minutes of me walking to the top to hit a button, coming downstairs to hit two more buttons, and then walking through this door on my left. So, uh, Bobby... Sure. Quick save. Oh, yeah, quick save, sorry. Uh, Bobby, you've got the floor for about two minutes. All right, well, we do have a $10 donation from Quick Save that just says, don't forget about me. I gotta put in my... Oh, give me a second, hold up, Quick Save. I gotta put in my other donation. Yeah, you owe me, you owe 25 bucks, man. That's true, hang on one second. Well, we have another $25 donation from Private Ugu that says was about to go to bed, but then saw the quick save miss and thought this person is doing their best to give us more GDQ. The least I could do is donate. Thanks for the run fun, uh, the fun run, folks. Don't worry, I'm not going to remind you to keep quick save. Oh, I'll quick save, by the way. Thank you. We have a $5 donation from Quasi Otter that says, I know it's not even the first 24 hours of HGDQ, but Shockwave and Amerlin are making this the best run this week. Much love to y'all and everyone involved with this event. And we also have a $10 donation from Jan that says, good morning from Germany. Finally, AGDQ again. Love everything you do. Thanks everyone who takes place. Time shift is nice. Played it a few years ago. And shout outs to Shockwave for this wholesome run and all the fun. Good luck to all the runners this week. 
god, PayPal is making me verify I'm not a robot. I Are you I'm, not a robot, though? I promise I'm chill. Let me donate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just hit the second set of buttons. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk to the end and then do the second hardest reverse object boost, but some could argue this is harder given the circumstances. We'll explain when we get there in a second. Uh, but, Bobby, if you want to do one more donation, go for it. All right, we have a $25 donation from Nyx that said, so excited to see Time Shift is in GDQ. I have a really vague memory of playing this back when this was released, but I have no idea how I found it back then. Last year, I finally got around to playing it again out of nostalgia and was surprised to see how fun it was. Loving the chill commentary and can't wait to see how broken this game is. All right, so this is Repo Man. This is the third to last level. Um, and like I said, this is the second hardest reverse object boost. And I'm just going to let Church handle this because it can get stressful. It's easier than Exeunt, but it can be more annoying annoying than that one. So Church, take it away. Yeah, so the the really annoying part about this is you have to do it in a firefight, and you're on kind of a time limit because the barrel that you need to use is an exploding barrel, or it is next to an exploding barrel. Uh, and if an enemy blows it up, then you, uh, you miss it. Uh, so you have to do it very quickly while being fired at, and then hope that you get the right uh, launch. Oh, it was so close. I, it was ooh. so close. It was so close. I should wait. I'm going to try this. I I'm going to try this. I, I think, think this works. Can save this. I might have just gotten this first I, yeah, try. Hold up. Hold applause for the couple people that will clap for this. Thank you. I'm, I'm like 97% sure. I just need to make sure I can make it where I need to, and then like yeah. we'll be good. Uh, does this go high enough? Uh, it looks like it does. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Clap. You can clap now. Uh, please. Please, tell me. please uh, tell me you quick saved before this. I did. <laughs> I did. Dude, I was gonna uh, okay. So I'm, I'm trying to thread the needle. There's a tiny hole right here, like that. Bonk. And I can go right in the control room. Please. Pl don't do this to me. There we go. All right, cool. And I can hit this button and All end right. the level. All right, cool. All of the hard tricks are gone. They're done. I like that you can just quick save. It'll do something different, <laughs> which is not how quick loading is supposed to work. All right, so we're, we're not at the end. We're getting towards the end. This is the second to last level. Uh, there's a tiny turret section at the beginning, or I just have to basically blow up some stuff so we can dock our Zeppelin and refuel so we can get back to uh, the city. So the, the lore of like what we did is we started at the end of the game and then we warped back to the beginning of the game so we can get to the end correctly is what happened. So uh, all, all I need to do here, I don't need to worry about the bombs. The ship has plenty of health. I just need to destroy the helicopters so that way they can't blow us up. Can um, you die in this auto-scroller? You can die in any of them, but nothing is shooting bullets at you here. So. Well, I guess I will kill everything before it can shoot bullets at me. But theoretically, yes. Oh, come on. I'm playing at such a high sensitivity compared to what I'm used to. Church, have you ever died in Soda Scroller? I have never died. Hmm. All right, cool. I... No. I've come close because I do a really dumb strat. That... Why, why did you put a question mark at the yeah, end of that? I was going to say no. that. <laughs> So, I, because I go for the dumb strat, and I've get, been killed doing the dumb strat. <laughs> oh, which is having this guy push you out early. Yeah, so... He's, he's, he randomly the, spins in circles, and you can, like, wedge into him to have you fall out early, but it's really not worth doing, because it's it random. Is, I, I'm, yeah, it's completely random and definitely not worth doing, and I don't do it anymore. But I'm pretty sure I've died trying it. All right, and I, it I, saves, I, I, like, two seconds. I just want everyone to know I quick saved after the auto scroller. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. Thank you for, for clapping for my misfortune. Clapping for, <laughs> clapping for my misfortune. Yeah. This is what GDQ is about. Alrighty. So I'm going to go up here and then do a mini puzzle. It's not that hard. It's just to press time slow like this and then walk towards this door. So it's a giant explosive hallway, and the dude's like, ha, I got you. It blows everything up, but you can just be too quick. And then just do that. So and then I'm going to blow them up and walk to this side of the hallway. There you go. I did the puzzle. Yay. Definitely how explosions would work. So the one time, or the, I guess the second time it's useful, when you're crouching like this, it's slightly faster to go diagonally. Not much, but fun little tidbits that make you go faster. 
Uh, but for the most part, uh, this is I'm going to go run and touch a button and then leave. So, Bobby, uh, let's do like 30 seconds of donations. All right, we have a $25 donation from Amarillo saying, here's my 25 and another 25 for a hug to make up for whacking you. Oh, my. No way did I just mess that up. That is incredible that I messed that up. Actually, no, I'm going to pause. Come here. Oh. All right. All right Thank you. Go. Yeah. You're doing great, man. Keep it up. So does this mean we're having a pillow fight later or something? Or I got a shift in... What time is it? Okay, so I'll pillow fight you on stage. Got oh, okay. it. Okay, yeah. All right, All right but... Where's my guns? Okay, I got really concerned that I deleted my guns somehow, and that would have been a real, <laughs> real time shift moment there. Again, sorry to the QA tester. <laughs> I'm shock finding weird bugs. Hey, Shock, make sure to quick save. Thank you. <laughs> Zach donates $50 saying rem remember to quick save. <laughs> uh, I'll quick save five times for that one. We have a $10 donation from Shock's Keybinds to say, don't worry, Shock, we forgot to quick save too. Oh, okay, so I won't quick save for that one then. <laughs> but I actually do want to quick save here because this part uh, can be annoying. Um, so I'm going to spam time slow here to mess with the enemy's AI while I get to the ending section. Um, and then I'm just going to tank all of this damage. It's faster to just heal when I need to, like this, and then just keep letting the vehicle move forward. Um, this, I'm just going to say it now, just in case, this should be fine. Please don't crash. If processing shader shows up, we're fine. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Uh, at home, that has been crashing every single time for me, but here it has never crashed, so my setup is screwed. That's what I've learned. <laughs> but we're back where we started. We're back in the first level. We're back in the city, uh, but this time things are different. We have saved our friends. We have powered them up with gear. We have... Um, stopped all the other stuff that was happening that we didn't get to see because I skipped it all, but uh, basically things have been flipped on its head because we went back further in time to correct, correct the timeline. Um, but just like uh, a classic trope from this kind of era of shooters, they give you the final level, they give you a bunch of really powerful weapons like this, and you just kind of go wild with them, which is kind of fun. So you get this gun, which like blows up some walls, and it's the only time I will use it. And then I've got my shotgun back. So this thing never left me. This guy's going to have a bad day. See ya. And then I'm going to reload this so I can do a charge shot. And then I'm going to do a trick with this new weapon that I will have access to for the first time. Just kidding. He's not going to show up. Of course, now he shows up. All right, so this is the boss skip. I'm going to go. I blew up this wall in a specific way. Hold up. I'm just going to reload. Uh, the wall has certain health. I don't want to make sure it has as much health as possible. Uh, I'm going to boost myself up this wall like this. And I'm actually going to heal real quick. And I'm going to try to get myself on this edge. Okay, yeah. So that's the problem is the wall blew up because I did too much damage to it. I'm going to heal. I'm going to have to reset this. This can be a little finicky because the enemy's RNG could possibly damage the wall, which it looked like he, looks like he did. He did too much damage to the wall, so I can't stand on it. So I will need to reload and reset this up, which is, this, this happens. He also didn't spawn, which is what he normally does here. So normally an enemy spawns right here outside this window, like this. So I can take his surge gun, break the wall, save, get up in this corner, save again, and then boost up the wall here. This should be enough health on the wall. All right, cool. So I'm going to stand here, jump on this, jump through the wall, and hold up, not done yet. Come on, let me through. I need to heal. All right, come on. Can I get through this wall, please? Perfect. All right. Hey. That's the final trick. This run's basically settled at this point. Uh, give me about, like, 30 seconds, and then we'll hit time. Uh, the way the boss is supposed to work is it has two phases. It has the phase where you destroy the three turrets on top, and then you come over here to destroy the one on the bottom. The only one that technically matters is the one on the bottom. Uh, the top three are just like a shield. You can think of it that way. Um, but because I'm here at the wrong time, the game is going to actually self-correct and be like, oh, you're at the final spot. I guess I'll just move the boss for you, even though it has its you know, shield active on top. So uh, I'm going to wait for the bottom turret to pass this building here. And once it explodes, that'll be time. So we're just waiting at this point until it gets to the right visual cue, and then I can blow it up. Shock, is there a way to explain really fast why this game doesn't work on some computers? Uh, you have too many physical cores in your CPU, so you need to go to the BIOS to disable them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to time slow and then get ready on time. Come on. Come on. Time. GG.
All right. So I'm going to pause here. Run, dude. I'm going to pause here because um, there's a cutscene I can't skip uh, for the credits. But um, we do have a little bit more time still, correct? OK. So I got a little funny glitch um, that I got time to show you all. So um, we're going to close out of the game for a second if tech wants to go ahead and black out the screen just for a moment. Um, I'm going to change one setting in this file here. You can't see it. Um, but there's just like a config file with all of your video settings and your keybinds and stuff like that. No, it was not that reason. Before you ask, chat, chat secretly, he's got a file on that says "turn cheap." Anyway, on. there's a file here that has like FOV, which PC gamers we love cranking that up. There's a separate one for my weapon FOV, which is how far forward or back uh, the weapon is going to be. And I'm just going to change that from a decimal to a whole number. That's all I'm doing here. It was 75.5. Now it's going to be 77, just flat. And we're going to see if uh, anyone in the room can understand what that does. I just need to load one particular save at the beginning of the game, and then uh, we'll see some shenanigans. So I'm going to load the first level, not that. I want load game. Give me a second to scroll all the way to the beginning. And I want the first one out of bounds, which is that one. OK. So we're back at the first level. After the very first trick, going out of bounds here, uh, you can see my weapon's now much closer to me. So before I had it like a little jutted out, because I, I like to have the weapon model much smaller so I can see more on the screen. But now it's much closer. Um, but it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to let myself fall. So like I said, I'm not f walking straight. I'm falling. I'm going to let myself fall under the floor. Um, once I fall under the floor, I'm just going to walk forward. All I'm going to do is just hold W, and then you'll see what happens. And I'm going to keep walking W until it fixes itself. So we're going to walk this way. And then uh, go ahead, crowd. Let me know when you see what's going on. I'm hearing chuckling, so good signs. So my weapon's gone. Just kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's there. It's there. Don't worry. I didn't lose it. It's still there. Um, upside down. <laughs> it's upside down and on the wrong side of the screen. Uh, also, the bullets, if there were tracers, would still be coming from the right side. But I'm too far out of bounds, so they don't render anymore. Uh, but it's still going. Just further and further into the beyond until eventually it reaches the center. Suspenseful music. Keep going. Come on. And... Oh, <laughs> take that. <laughs> what? And hey, it's coming back. It's in the right spot now. Look at that. And now I have arms. Look at that. Anyway, yeah, it was just a, it's a funny little thing I found messing while trying to make the game work on my computer. Um, it just happens because I'm using the wrong kind of number. It wants a decimal, and I gave it a solid number. That's it. Anyway, that's my quirky little thing. Uh, thanks for watching Time Shift. Thanks, crowd, for joining in the fun. Appreciate it. Um, thanks, Amarlin, for joining me on the couch for being my friend when I ran this game when we used to live together. Uh, it's just been... This has been like a weird little passion project for me, just trying to get this thing in. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I want to shout out the staff working backstage. It's a pleasure working with you all this event. And, and Church, who's uh, in Canada, I think. And Church, who was, not, who was yeah. not able to make it in person. Yep. Yes. Church so. is also a really good runner of this game. And we kind of had a back and forth for a while. But basically, now that I've done this run, this is getting on install for my computer, and I can write off a happy little chapter of my life. You can turn your physical course back on. I can turn... <laughs> Anyway, that's all I got for me. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, get the rest of the marathon going. So um, take care, everyone. See you later.